All right, so here's uh, another weekly pay stub. Now, the one I showed you guys last time, I was trying to be humble and show you guys a smaller check, but now that I'm getting used to the driving and I'm switching schedules to day shift, this is more of what my checks are looking like. Yo, it's 2.20 in the morning. The reason I'm waking up so early is because I'm getting some more free 99 knowledge on the day in the life of a truck driver, plus expenses, because everybody in my last video was like, Ray, that's how much he makes. But what about the profit? What about the maintenance? What about the insurance? I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know in this video, so stick around. But never say I don't go hard for that free 99 knowledge, all right? Let's go. All right, Jose, how we doing, man? How we doing? All right, bro, we're right here at the store. What are we gonna get? Um, let's see, I get breakfast. We'll see what we get, but there's some <laughs> coffee. I don't know. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's go. So, what's the first thing we're gonna do? I just grab my lunch bag, get in the truck, uh, warm up the truck. I go clock in and then grab a trailer and we ask for a dispatch to do the first trip of the day. We're gonna do a pre trip right now as well. Make sure all my brakes, tires are good, oil levels are good, cooling levels are good. Make sure we're safe to get on the road. So we got a long trip, 110 miles. One way? One way, yes. Oh, dang. Since we're looking for, that was about a $500 trip. It's like the 480s around there, so. So the people want to know, how do you get paid? Per mile? Yeah, so I get paid, every mile I drive, I get paid $3 when I'm loading. And when I'm going to drop off an empty trailer, it's always $60. It doesn't matter if it's five miles away, a hundred miles away, every time I drop off, it's 60 miles. But when I'm loaded with the tomatoes, it's $3 per mile. Now we're getting, we got 1164. You know, right? Our directions. Let me ask you, when you first start, is it hard finding the actual location? Yes, because as you can, as you can see here, like, for example, this one, right? This one is saying Cortland Road West to Jefferson. So you do so many turns, you forget what's west and what's south and what's north. So you get a little confused and every single little turn since you're in a truck, you can get lost for up to 30 minutes, you know? And in the beginning, it does take some getting used to and you lose a lot of time. But once you get through it like a week or two, then it starts getting easier. What do you do when you get lost? You just start circling around until you find it? So it, it's hard, like, because the, uh, the directions, they give you to go through a certain way. So if you get lost, the directions are not gonna help you because you're in a completely different street. So if the directions are telling you you're supposed to go 10 miles straight on Jefferson Road, you passed Jefferson Road 10 miles ago, so you're like lost, you know? So you kind of have to sit down, breathe, open the maps, and try to find your way there and put a pin drop. How do you know when you got there? When you see a whole bunch of tomatoes in trucks? Yeah, so what they do here is um, every time there's a field, they put red flags. So you have to be driving down the street. If you see red flags or signs pointing towards the field, and that's what gives it away. And then the trucks are everywhere too, so. Yeah, man, been driving for what, almost two hours? <sighs> yeah, and um, it's kind of hard to stay up while the sun's out. Yeah. I mean, while the sun's, during the nighttime basically. So I'm better off taking a quick 15 minute nap. That way I'm not struggling, you know? All right. And besides the field we're going to, they don't start peaking. Seven, so we'll be there right on time. We just take a quick nap. All right, let's get it. Hey, bro, I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there with you. Let's go. We'll see you in 15 20 minutes. So, uh, some quick tips for you guys. Uh, we have some questions. So, sleep, how is sleep? So, mine is uh, I don't think it's a sustainable schedule, it's seasonal. Seven days a week, I'm working 16 hours, 14 hours a day, and I try to average about five hours of sleep if I get less than that. I'm kind of forced to take naps throughout the day, which is okay with the company. You know, we're owner operators, so we have the right to do that. But if you don't get sleep, man, your whole day gets messed up and you know, it kind of trickles down to the second day and the third day. So you kind of have to focus. That's honestly the hardest thing about the job, being responsible when you get home to eat healthy, shower, and get that sleep in. That's it, man, that's it. <laughs> You're right. Yep. Another 15 minutes, bro. Nah, it's good. The sun's you, coming out already, so we should be good. You good? Yeah. Alright, bro. Make sure they don't give you the ugly tomatoes. 
Oh. Oh yeah, that's what you gotta do to get the nice ones right there. Yeah. There you go. Damn, bro, it's like when two two big people go on an aisle at Walmart, you know, and, and they touch each other's butt, cause the church is squeezed in. It happens to me all the time, bro. So last time we were recording, yeah. the gas station I pumped out the gas diesel was two dollars and sixty-five cents a gallon. And now the cheapest one we have up north is two dollars and ninety-nine cents. So it's about a forty cent difference. And I pumped like more than hundred gallons, so each pump is like an extra forty dollars now going up north. So little things like that can you know really cut into the profit margins throughout the week. So look we got the truck stop. Oh. Everyone getting their sleep in, but while we go home every day, yeah. spend time with my family. And is where the lot lizards are at? Yes, sir. All right, let's see. I've been collecting them, bro. I put them in little jars. Yeah, when they dry up, man, they're pretty cool to have them in the collection. Anyone have any uh, stories? Please let us know. Oh, watch out, bro. Watch out. Watch out. There's a guy right there. Damn, guy. He didn't care. He was ready, bro. We're going to have him as decoration. His wife probably left them. And his kids don't want to be around them, so he, he's like, I'm done with life. That's it. That's it for him. All right, so for breakfast, again, breakfast. Like, I don't have much time to stop and eat. I just drink a meal replacement smoothie. And then in the afternoon, if there's a chance, then I stop to eat. But for the morning, it's just water and a smoothie here and there, you know, to keep my stomach full. Gotta stay healthy. But 97 miles, so not bad, not bad. First one, 115. This one is 97. How much money do you think you're gonna make today? Uh, we're gonna pass over a thousand, depending on our last trip. By the by, the look of it, right now we're gonna hit a thousand dollars today. Thousand one day? Yes, sir. We're almost done with the day, so make sure to stick around and see how much we made today. But also how much. He made it in the last two weeks because we have the paychecks to prove it. And of course, all the expenses. So you know how much he's taking the home. So one thing you have to realize when you're working on your goals, when you're grinding, is that your social life is going to suffer. And what I mean by that is say goodbye to staying out late and drinking. Say goodbye to partying on the weekends. <laughs> say goodbye to the BBWs but can you have a social life and be a trucker full time <laughs> let's see what Jose has to say about this all right and then how's my social life uh, so for me you know I don't really like uh, going out to drink or doing anything social to be honest so I know it's a short-term sacrifice I do have a girlfriend and she understands I'm gonna be doing this for about three months and then after that it's me and her forever so oh are they gonna be together forever oh my gosh so cute so cute let me ask you could someone have a social life and be a trucker full-time like you not like me that's why this is only seasonal you have to find a balance if you want to do this for a living because doing it like this there's absolutely no way you're gonna have a social life People wanna talk that talk in reality. You have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight. You ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you tryna eat. I produce it and rap it. I read that contract you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself. I'm just laughing. Hey, you tryna cut out a piece of my pie, and I asked you politely, what's it that you offer me? Before we continue, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Upflip. If you like the Raw Along series where I'm finding different entrepreneurs and getting knowledge about their own businesses, Upflip is doing something similar where they're interviewing different people to get knowledge so you could see what worked and didn't work. For example, they just interviewed someone who's making $60,000 a month selling shoes, but they've also done landscaping videos, power washing videos, food truck videos, and it's all free 99 knowledge and just want to let you know these sponsors I've been getting they're helping me fund these type of videos so I could keep providing knowledge to you 
so it will mean a lot if you want to go show him some love i'll put the link in the description below and i just want to say thank you to upflip for sponsoring this video thank you to my audience for watching my videos and now let's get back to the video all done jose all done yes gotta go and then like my cousin has a different schedule he's really coming in right now Yo, what's up? Yo, you're that guy's cousin right there? Yeah, I'm his cousin. He gets an extra 100 bucks for 12 hours, right? Yep, I get an extra 100 bucks every day. After 12 hours, we get an extra 100 bucks. How do you feel so, about night shift, though? Well, honestly, I prefer night shift. The reason why is because it's just traffic, you know? Mm. Um, I, I prefer night shift a lot because it's just less headaches and all that stuff. What tips do you have for beginners, Jose? Uh, my tip is basically, I mean, if you really want your license, uh, you can get it as soon as a month or three weeks like my cousin did it it took me a little more time because at the time i was going to other schools so uh but eventually it's all about the effort you put into something at the end of the day all right guys so i mean if you guys uh um, wouldn't mind follow me on instagram my instagram is uh jl the rcb uh this is my truck right now i'm currently looking to buy another truck so hopefully by next year i'll start my own fleet so definitely sticking into the trucking business see how it goes and then uh, you guys can follow me on my journey and I know what you're thinking, but Reyes, how can I get experience? And here's one thing I'm going to tell you. If you want something bad, you're going to find a way. And yes, it is going to be hard. And yes, it is going to take time. But it is possible. You know, let me tell you a little story. When I was 10, I was so excited because I was going to get my first animal. And I wanted to be the very best. So I went to my professor. He ran out of animals and he only had one left, a little mouse that created electricity. But I took it and we went through a lot of ups and downs. But eventually, me and this mouse became best friends. And we started training and getting experience to, be, to win the championship. And when I got there, I lost. Now, I could have gave up, but no, I wanted to continue. So for 20 seasons, I did it. It became repetitive, but it was making money. So we continued until finally, I was able to win a championship. And I was still 10. See, I could have gave up. I did it. I kept going. And you could do it too. But this how Jose got his experience. How to get experience. So first year is gonna be the hardest year in truck driving. Um, some of the big companies they kind of pay for your school and you drive them for like a year they keep you on a contract if they're going to pay for your school you have to drive for them for a certain amount of time and they pay really low so what i did is i got my license right around harvest season and there's a lot of small business owners that have five six trucks and it's really hard for people to find drivers so they'll pretty much hire you in your local area that's at least what i did for example my first year i did freight uh carrying melons and then after that I went to the bay area they're called super tens or super dumps. And I got a job there, we'll put a picture up. It was a cool company. We had like five or six Optimus Prime thing trucks. Uh, well, that being said, man, I wanna give a shout out to my partners that helped me out during that job. They made it easy for me to learn. Uh, shout out to Fernando, Lalo, Wero, and of course, Roy for giving me the opportunity to work for that company. It was a really good time. Now what you wanna know, how much money did he make in two weeks? In our last video, he showed about a $4,000 paycheck, but to be honest, that was when he first started, and that was chump change. He's making way more today. Watch, watch, watch. This is gonna make you wanna quit your job. All right, here's uh, another weekly pay stub. Now, the one I showed you guys last time, I was trying to be humble and show you guys a smaller check, but now that I'm getting used to the driving and I'm switching schedules to day shift, this is more of what my checks are looking like. And we do get money for diesel. We got $882 depending on the miles we do. And 10% of that goes to the broker. So wait, wait, wait. So you put your own diesel, but then the company reimburses you that much? Yeah, for yeah. some. So I, like for this week, I pumped probably like $1,000 for yeah. the miles I did. They gave me back 800 bucks, so 200 bucks out of pocket, you know? What, what does raise mean, bro? Oh, for the raise, so they needed a, a lot of people this season because of the coronavirus and uh, they bought more fields, so. They gave us a raise to stay because many people tend to go work at the grape season. So they gave us a raise, but yeah, on average, um, no, this is a high check. This is more of average. So I'm just averaging more like 7,400, 7,500 a week. Okay, so the $8,000 check was a high week. So on average, I'm bringing in 7,500. 
Which in a month gives us thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollars? Yes. In you, a month. you know what, man? I'm a. I got something to say, but I'm gonna wait till you read the expenses first. All right. All right. All right. Let's all see right. the expenses. So my insurance out of pocket every month is two thousand four hundred dollars. Mine is the two thousand four hundred. Still leaves at twenty seven six. Yeah. Now twenty seven six. My diesel. I average anywhere from a thousand to a thousand two hundred, depending on. You know the miles I do? Yeah. But we'll be nice. We'll, we'll give you guys that 1200 Diesel and insurance, we're at $22,800 a month. Okay. But you can't you can't forget about the oil changes. You do what, what every two so months? Oh, every two months I do an oil change. I did start last month. Oil changes are $300. All right. So since you guys want to see all the expenses, we'll just add it on this month, you know? We'll be nice here. So the minus $300 for the oil change. Uh, those are all my expenses. My truck is paid off. So now let's do some taxes on that. So we're gonna do that 15% is gonna leave us at $19,100. So that's what I take home You know in the month in the month. Yes after all the expenses now I do want to explain real quick the reason uh, I did seasonal work is because the cost of entry is much cheaper When does the season end the season? Uh, so tomato season ends in about five more days six more days and Then I'm gonna do walnuts for one more month. So I'm just gonna go three months in harvesting season I started a little bit late this year, uh, last week of July, so. So that's pretty much it. Jose just went into trucking, got his money, and he's ready to get out because he's about to start a new journey. And if you want to follow him on his journey, I put the link in the description below to his YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next entrepreneur video. And I'll see you in my next video.